With its proximity to the biodiverse natural features of the Pantanal region of Brazil, the city of Bonito has become one of the world's top destinations for ecotourism. The region offers a variety of great ways for tourists to take in its natural beauty, and one of the best ways to do so is through snorkeling. There is a lot to see and do in and around Bonito, Brazil. There is great biodiversity here and the beauty of nature, both above on land and in the aquatic environment. The best way to get in the water and check out all the fish and the beautiful nature within is by snorkeling and scuba diving. The water here is super clear, very low turbidity and an unbelievable color of blue and turquoise thanks to all the shells along the bottom that have taken millennia to form thick layers where the light bounces back and the short wavelengths of blue cast this beautiful color. It feels like you're swimming through a crystal. Truly amazing experience and it's not hard to see the fish here. If you have a basic travel guide, you will see most of the fish in your guide. Just keep your eyes peeled. You can listen for them as well. You can keep one ear out in the air to hear things on the, uh, the shoreline. Sometimes you'll see a river otter getting in and out of the water. Really amazing stuff here. Nothing to worry about either. The fish in here almost seem like they're polite. When you're swimming through, they're not too scared of you. It's like you're saying, oh, hello, excuse me, good morning. And you get right up close to them. They'll swim right by your mask, but there's no touching them. We don't touch the bottom of the river. We try not to disturb any of the nature here because one of the foremost focuses of this destination is sustainability. The guides are excellent. They ensure that everybody interacts really responsibly with the destination so that future generations of tourists can also enjoy it just as much as we can. Let's go check it out. The spring-fed rivers of Bonito offer excellent visibility for snorkeling thanks to their extremely low levels of turbidity. The famous Sucuri River, for example, is the clearest river in all of Brazil. Crystal clear source water of these rivers appears to magically upwell from underground limestone aquifers that act as natural filters of precipitation in wetlands. Through guided snorkeling tours, visitors can explore these amazing waterways and the worlds within. As is the practice for all tours in Bonito, any necessary equipment and training is provided. Before entering the rivers, guides ensure that guests are comfortable using their masks and snorkels in a shallow pool. Here, guests have the opportunity to practice swimming with slow and calm movements to avoid scaring fish and wildlife. And also, they can perfect the skill of floating at the surface to avoid disturbing potentially sensitive riverbed habitat. Wetsuits and water shoes provide buoyancy and also help to regulate body temperature and provide protection from the sun. Guests are asked to refrain from using sunscreen, perfumes or other skin creams before entering the rivers to avoid introducing chemicals to ecosystems where they can disrupt wildlife endocrine systems. Showers are located at each snorkeling and dive location for a final rinse off and further ensuring that these environments are sustainably explored, groups are separated to regulate the human impact in the area and also to ensure that guests have a personalized experience. Here in the forest surrounding Bonito, there's lush green foliage, beautiful weather, turquoise water. It's hard to imagine anything more beautiful, but wait till you see what's below the surface. Tourism industry in Bonito prioritizes accessibility. If you can float, you can do this tour. Guides are trained to receive and facilitate great experiences for guests with differences in mobility.
In addition to being enjoyable and inspiring, ecotourism in Bonito is heuristic and educational. Visiting here provides the opportunity to witness the biodiversity and ecosystem functions of healthy river habitats. Glancing over shoulder, visitors can take in views of the riverbanks that serve as riparian zones. These natural buffers bridge aquatic and terrestrial environments. They provide shade, leaf litter, filter contaminants, and also prevent erosion. Without these zones, the biodiversity and core ecological functions of rivers are lost, and unfortunately, many riverside riparian zones throughout the world have been lost to development. Ecotourism in Bonito serves as an important model, demonstrating how tourism, agriculture, and economic development can coexist more sustainably as it does in this area. Snorkeling here is like floating through a natural lazy river. Following the whim of the gentle current, it's one of those experiences that one just doesn't want to end. And luckily, these rivers are long enough that the tours can be organized to last anywhere from minutes to hours. Tourists get the unique feeling of having traveled a considerable distance by swimming. When was the last time you can say you swam for several kilometers, and especially without feeling tired? That's part of the beauty of these snorkeling experiences. They're a unique chance to travel through a gate and a medium that we rarely access. It's a rare and unique experience that seems, at the same time, entirely natural and fundamental to being alive. What an empowering feeling! A theme in Bonito is coexistence, and swimming in the water reinforces this theme. Floating calmly amongst all the fish and wildlife sharing the space, visitors can peacefully drift through lush forests from the vantage point of natural spring-fed rivers that make up the circulatory system of the whole landscape. It's remarkable to experience the coexistence of so many life forms and landscapes all within the same excursions. Tourism in Bonito combines these elements and much more. Want to know more about Bonito? Subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.